All right, Great. we're on. Good evening, everybody. How's it going? Welcome to Reflect and Revive. Uh, we are studying John chapter 8 this evening, and we got some new, some new blood today. <laughs> Introduce yourself, Mr. Isaac. Um, I'm Isaac. Um, I'm homeschooled. I go with Josh, who is in the background, and Gavin here. Um, I don't go to school with them, but I hang out with them every once in a while. So. Yes, and we're excited to have him, and we have a whole fan base back here. Everybody clap. <laughs> Woo! We got all the youth here today to support us in prayer, and we, we're thankful for that. We thank God for that. So anyway, as we're studying tonight, please uh, try to participate is what we love here. Please par participate in the, in the study for us. Again, comments, questions that you might have. We're always appreciative of that. We're always learning ourselves, too. We don't have the answers to everything, but we always want to uh, get everybody involved and just learn and grow with Christ. It's very simple as that. All right, but before we get started, uh, does anybody have prayer requests? I'm not going to start with you, Kayla. Um, prayer request, just to keep my husband safe. Awesome, Ms. Val? Um, my friend, Samantha, you know, Andrew, Brandon, the, my friends who really need help. Absolutely. Gavin, what do you got? Oh, uh, just, uh, maybe just, what's it called, not a, not a uh, request, but a, what is it? A praise. Yes, for the opportunity to play down Hassan Center and everything. Oh, I know. This guy was on TV. He was on Twitter. And I got to go, ah! And the one last <laughs> week, it was awesome. I was like, hey, that's Gavin right there, right? We're doing good. That's um, awesome, man. Basically, for me, just I can get my last uh, math credit and my last in half English credit so I can graduate early like I'm supposed to do. Amen. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Over there in the back, prayer requests. Anybody? Chilling. I'm thankful that I'm just here. Josh is thankful. Grateful he's here. Mr. David? I'm thankful for my teammate. He's back on his feet after treatment for leukemia. Oh. He, he, I'm sorry, he what? Um, treatment for leukemia. Leukemia. Oh, wow. No, he was tested for it, but it came clear. So. came clear. Oh, praise God. Awesome, awesome. Any of you else? Anybody? Anything? We good? All right. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, sweetie. Mm-hmm. Wow, amen. Yeah, we unfortunately we, we see a lot of that, especially me in the public school. Yeah. Yeah, she knows what I had to deal with today and I'm I'm praying <laughs> for my students. I might have scared half the school today with my voice. Most of the school. Unfortunately it was half of it. It wasn't that no. bad. <laughs> it was it was a little it was a little bad. I apologize. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, it was it was uh, quite the afternoon, but um just, just praying for my students and Praying for patience is what we need. But uh, before we continue, um, let's go ahead and begin with a word of prayer. Ms. Valerie, go ahead and start us out, please. Okay. Um, dear Lord, thank you for this wonderful day that we're having. Thank you for allowing us to all get together and come be here um, and study your word. Lord, give us the wisdom, the knowledge, and the words to be able to bring a better understanding of your book and that we'll have a great time and thank you lord and we love you and just name we pray amen. amen amen so with that said we are live and again i don't know who's watching at the moment but as uh, again if you have comments questions anything like that please by all means put them in the chat and i'll try to keep track of them and we'll take it from there so last week Guys, we studied John chapter 7, right? Yeah. So just a little recap. Uh, Kayla, anything that you recall from last week, just to recap the viewers? Um, for the chapter, it was a lot of the um, people around Jesus, his family, and others who were doubting him. Yeah. And it was going through how Jesus responded in those situations and how he showed us how to respond in, in our own situations when those come up and revealing who he really is amen absolutely and it was it was very eye-opening and gosh when you see the character of jesus mm -hmm. it's it's something to just behold and really like wow like something to aspire to i think um does anyone else have anything to add to chapter seven before we get started just a lot of him basically 
challenging the Pharisees. Really, I mean, like really, oh, yeah. really yeah. making them angry by not following along with you know their agenda. Yes, their agenda. Yeah, absolutely. And we're gonna study more of that in this chapter, especially. You know, it doesn't it doesn't get easier. You know, for for Jesus and you know his followers. You know, things do get harder. And um, well. Chapter 8 is one interesting one for sure. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start reading. We're, again, we're on John chapter 8. We're going to read verses uh, 1 through 12, and then we'll stop there and we'll talk about it. Isaac, I'm going to go ahead and start with you, and then we'll just go one verse at a time. Clockwise. Okay. Clockwise, yes. Okay, so or counter. Jesus went unto the <laughs> Mount of Olives. And early in the morning he came again into the temple, and all the people came unto him, and he sat down and taught them. Then the scribes and Pharisees brought to him a woman caught in adultery, and when they had set her in, in the midst, they said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in adultery in the very act. Now Moses and the law commanded us that such should be stoned, <clears throat> but what do you say? Oh, Isaac, back to you. Uh -huh. Okay. This they said, tempting him, that they might have to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down, and with his finger wrote on the ground, as though he heard them not. Uh, as though he heard them not. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. Oof. And again he stooped down and wrote on the ground. Then those who heard it, being convicted by their conscience, went out one by one, beginning with the oldest, even to the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus had raised himself up and saw no one but the woman, he said to her, Woman, where are those accusers of yours? Has no one condemned you? She said, No man, O Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. Then uh, spake, I guess mm -hmm. that's Spoke, like, uh -huh. yeah. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that follow, uh, he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but <clears throat> shall have the light of life. All right, we'll stop right there. Oh, we got Rosemary watching. Hey, Rosemary. Um, wow. Very, very powerful section right here. Um, mm -hmm. Gavin, I want to start with you. Um, you know, this, this adulteress, right? Mm -hmm. you know, caught in adultery, scribes, Pharisees, bring her before Jesus and using the law of Moses mm -hmm. and, hey, this woman dah, needs to be stoned, blah, blah, blah. What do, what do you think, man? Mm -hmm. uh, I just love, I just love, like, his wording. Like whoever has not sinned, like among you, like like which which whichever among you are sinless, like you guys, like you 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 do this thing, and they all, I'm actually impressed that they all recognize that they all have sinned. I thought that the Pharisees would be like one of them would be right. like, no, nah, okay, I'm like you know perfect or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. But, yeah, I, don't know, I thought that wording was really. Like, I don't know, the way he had, the way with words is crazy. Yeah, because, you know, like, who who would respond in such a way, right? Mm -hmm. Literally. You know, some people would say, well, no, and then, you know, they'll they'll justify it, they'll, mm -hmm. they'll bring it up, but not not, no. not Christ, right? Um, Isaac, like, what, I'm sorry, go ahead, Bell, go ahead. Were you going to say something? I didn't want to interrupt. Yeah, that's fine. Isaac can go. <laughs> oh, Isaac, go ahead. Okay, also another thing I think was interested is how he wrote in the sand instead of, like, maybe, like, more approaching them. Mm -hmm. He kind of just like stood back and like let them read more. It wasn't per se, which is just really weird how he wrote in the sand. You wouldn't mm -hmm. expect someone to do that per se. Then yeah. also when he said, um, let the first you have not sinned cast the first stone. He's also kind of saying, well, those you, of you in this group must have been some of the, that had been with her. Mm. Saying therefore, so if you stone her, what must be done to you? Exactly. Because, exactly. Like if you're willing to kill someone for their sin, what about your sin? Because now you just murdered someone for mm -hmm. doing a sin that you also committed with that person. Yeah, and if I recall, and I guess in Leviticus law, when it was adultery, it was both mm -hmm. parties, right? Mm -hmm. But you notice that they said, uh, teacher, this woman was caught in adultery. Notice they didn't say who she was caught with. Mm -hmm. Notice they didn't say, well, what about yeah. the dude, right? Mm -hmm. So to me, it just kind of felt like a big setup. Like they were just yeah. trying to, we're going to test him. We're going to test you to see what we can catch him, right? Because he even mm -hmm. says here, they were testing him. 
that they might have something to accuse them with, right? Yeah. So I, I kind of found it like, wait a minute here, like, you know, mm-hmm. just like you said, it, it's probably some of those dudes, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, involved as well. Val, what were you going to say? No, back to, like, the way he worded it, the way he said it. He who is without sin among you, let him throw a stone at her first. Mm-hmm. So it's like, because he knows that they've all sinned. Everyone knows that they've at least sinned once, mm-hmm. way more than once, everyone. Um, and, you know, it's kind of just like, well, don't judge people because, you know, you've also been judged and it's like mm-hmm. don't uh, like attack people for what they've done because you know you've also done things too so it's like basically saying you're attacking yourself as Absolutely. if you've been caught mm-hmm. yeah and you notice like it almost seems as though you know Christ said it in such a way for the Pharisees to look at themselves and say mm-hmm. yes. maybe they can come forward and say hey maybe I'm Maybe I'm not doing this right. Mm-hmm. So Maybe. so clever, like that's just so mm-hmm. clever. Like I'm sure they asked him that, and they were like expecting him to be, yeah, like to try and justify mm-hmm. it. Like, but the character mm-hmm. of Jesus is so clever, and he's like, like he acknowledges. It's not like he tries to say that it wasn't right of her to do that. Like he acknowledges that it was wrong, but he was like, you know, if you guys want to take an action, like whoever, you know, is sinless among yeah, you, yeah, because because like, he didn't say, hey, I, I'm not telling you to not throw it. Maybe you should throw it, but. If you're without sin, right? Yes. So in a sense, he was still trying. He's still following that law. He wasn't breaking that law of Moses. Mm-hmm. And it's right? like, in the, isn't it like in the like you you want to be more like in the image of God, like without sin and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So you're basically saying like whoever looks at themselves like as if they're God to make the decision of whether she should Ooh. be stoned or not. Mm-hmm. Like you can throw it. Mm-hmm. You know, that's powerful, dude. Also, also when to go throw a stone, he's like, you said you haven't sinned, so therefore you just sinned. Yeah, exactly. You're, not, you, you're lying to yourself and everyone else. Yeah. Because, mm-hmm. as the Bible says, no one's perfect. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Amen. Kayla, any thoughts on, on this section? I like how um, they cherry-picked. First, mm-hmm. first, they, they mm-hmm. threw the law in his face, mm-hmm. in the law of Moses, but they're cher- they cherry-pick it. And um, a lot we do, everybody does that to this day to justify oh, yeah. so like many different things. things yeah. Justify your sin, my sin, yeah. whatever, my righteousness, and everything right. like that. And... Um, I wanted to say something else, and I kind of forgot what I was going to say. Pray for it. Um, but you guys kind of basically got most of it. No, yeah, we'll, we'll come back to you. I'll come back to you. And Oh, R- Maria is watching. Hey, Maria, how's it going? Good to see you. Oh, and Rosemary says, we are all sinners. They were, uh, they were no exception. Mm. Oh, that's what I was going to say. You know, maybe because uh, it says the, y- the oldest went first. The people had the most experience, mm-hmm. and then the youngest and probably the Pharisees. And I don't know if, I wonder if maybe either they either felt convicted or if it was the pressure of the crowd around them mm-hmm. who was watching because mm-hmm. they knew maybe they felt themselves, I am righteous enough to stand here mm-hmm. and stone this woman, but everyone's watching what I'm doing, and it's about the image. It's not mm-hmm. really about what's in the heart. Right. You know? Yeah, and maybe they weren't as convicted as right, they thought. Right, that's what I'm kind of you wondering, if they were really convicted or if mm-hmm. they were too worried about everything. Yeah, I mean, if, you know. you was in the temple. Yeah, I mean, if you lead with a with the wrong intentions and with lies, you know, you're going to get caught and mm-hmm. it's going to catch up to you at some point. You know it's kind of I'm strange how no one went up to him asking for, for forgiveness. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, and then I mean, we got to remember too, these were the same ones that are trying to accuse God. They don't yeah. want him mm-hmm. to say that he is the son of God and he's yeah. the one that's, you know, I'm the light of the world, you know. Yeah. If they wanted to take Jesus down so bad, why didn't they say nothing and stand up for themselves? It's like they knew that he was right, but they didn't mm-hmm. want to admit it themselves. So. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And then sometimes they didn't have the words. They they, they couldn't help themselves, right? Mm-hmm. You know, yep. J- Jesus stood not only with love and compassion, but with truth and courage at the mm-hmm. same time. He was very confident in everything he said, I believe, you know. And no man speak they were. like this man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And I like what he says here. You know, when Jesus had raised himself up and saw, you know, and like when he said, woman, where are you? Are those accusers of yours has no one condemned you right Mm -hmm. and she said no no and he's like and this is what i thought was so powerful neither do i condemn you go and sin no more Mm -hmm. imagine Mm -hmm. you know a justify a loving mercy god he's not there to judge he could easily say well yeah you are sinner you deserve death we're sinners right all the wages Mm -hmm. of sin right you know is death but to him to just look at her and just say you know what 
I don't condemn you either. Go mm-hmm. and sin no more. Mm-hmm. I mean, how powerful is that? What do you think, Val? Just that, that one particular verse. Neither do I condemn you. Mm-hmm. I would have cried. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I'd she like, did too. I mean, doesn't to say it. I, I, can you imagine? Yeah. A life full of sin. You've been doing this for so long, I'd imagine. Mm-hmm. And just to say, go and sin no more. Mm-hmm. You're okay. Yeah. I mean, just for, like just for like Jesus to talk to me just like that is like any words is kind of just like like the tears, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. But like for him to say that is just like like her heart probably had like woken up or something, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, it would been like whoa. Yeah. Absolutely, mm-hmm. Kayla. Anything? No, exactly what she said. It would have been very much overwhelmed. It'd be like overwhelmed, yeah. but like with joy and like. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, even though no one condemns me, I'm, I know I'm still guilty. Absolutely. I'm have some freaking God. It's just, it's awesome. Yeah, and to me, it just shows like he's he's always rooting for you. He's he's yeah. trying. He's always fighting for you. He's trying to help you, mm-hmm. no matter what. I'm not there to put you down for what you do wrong. I'm mm-hmm. trying to lift you up, and put you on that track. You know, to to follow me. And again, I I see the message. Mm-hmm. in seven and eight where it's like follow me you know mm-hmm. believe in me don't don't focus on the miracles we just saw don't focus necessarily on on everybody's sin but focus on how can we bring mm-hmm. life life abundantly and mercy to everybody and forgiveness to give her a chance you know what i mean i mean are we all wanting chances right looking mm-hmm. for that forgiveness 100 absolutely anybody else have anything on this text section all right, let's go ahead and continue. We're going to go verses 13 uh, through 20. All right, and I think it was my turn, right? Mm-hmm. I'll go ahead and start there. Verse 13, it says, The Pharisees therefore said to him, You bear witness of yourself, your witness is not true. Jesus answered and said to them, Even if I bear witness of myself, my witness is true. For I know where I came from and where I am going. But you do not know where I come from and where I am going. You judge according to the flesh. I judge no one. And, oh yeah, sorry. And yet, if I judge, my judgment is true, for I am not alone. Second, sorry. I'm not Keep alone. Going. Yeah, you're good. But I stand in the Father that sent me. Yeah. Father that sent me. It is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. I am one who bears witness of myself, and the Father who sent me bears witness of me. Then they said to him, Where is your father? Jesus answered, You know neither me nor my father. If you had known me, you would have known my father also. These words Jesus spoke in the treasury as he taught in the temple, and no one laid hands on him, for his hour had not yet come. Wow. That foreshadowing. It's powerful. He's always... Several steps ahead of mm-hmm. everything. Val, you look excited. I was good, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that too. We got a fan. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> that was awesome. That too. I would have been like. Testimony is. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. And it's interesting how it took place in the temple when he was teaching people. Mm-hmm. Like they're yeah. trying to make him have a mistake in front of people, mm-hmm. trying to find something they could condemn him of, but they couldn't because his. Like he said, he's always like seven steps ahead of them. Mm-hmm. And he was like not judging but he handled it with patience and care yeah know? absolutely he's so so the more i read john the more like i see how clever he is he's like mm-hmm. he's like like um like they're trying to outwit him and he's like you know even he like says their law like it's written in your law that the testimony of two men is true and i am the test you know like uh. you have my testimony and the father that sent me like that's just mm-hmm. it's genius like it's actually it's it's genius it's quite genius yes, you know it really and- is and I like in where he says, you know, you know, neither me nor my father. You know, it's like, I think, you know, the Pharisees were well scribed mm-hmm. in, in the mm-hmm. in the scriptures, you know. And and he even points out, like, you, even though you may know all this, you still don't know mm-hmm. who God is. You don't know who I am, mm-hmm. you know. And, and, and meaning we go through the Old Testament, it's all a foreshadowing of Jesus to come, really, mm-hmm. from Genesis all the way through. You know, it's like, how can you not know and, and understand, you know, what we're trying to do, what I'm trying to reach you with? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like you're saying, though, like, they don't, he's saying that you don't know me because they're always constantly not trying to listen to them. They're listening to him in vain, trying to figure out a way to condemn them. 
Mm-hmm. So they're trying, they're learning his character, but they're not taking it to heart like, like I, how like I I know you. Mm-hmm. It's more like me trying to like watch Valerie and trying to find something. You got things. all the negative stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. you get all the negative stuff, the things you need to use against them, not their positive, but they couldn't find anything like that. Yeah, they're always they're always mm-hmm. constantly looking at the the bad stuff. Mm-hmm. And there is no there's no bad stuff to condemn on, so they're mm-hmm. not even learning anything about him. Like they don't know anything about him. Exactly. Yeah. Any other thoughts on this one, Kayla? I think I think I'll, pretty much everything can be summed up in 19. Mm-hmm. Uh, at the end, he said, if you had known me, you would have known my father also. Mm-hmm. And they're the ones who claim they know God better exactly. than he does. So right. They, so you have to go through Jesus, not the opposite. Mm-hmm. And the fact that that was really kind of calling him and everyone else out who claim, oh, I know God, I know God, but do you know Jesus? Right. And when they don't recognize that, how, do you, how can you say you even know God? Amen. That is absolutely true. And and for those of you watching, like, who is Jesus for you? What are, what are your thoughts on in this section we just read? Again, comment on here. Help us out here. And who is Jesus to you? And, and what does he mean to you? Please, if you can, answer. All right. Well, let's go ahead and continue then. Um, let's go from, we're going to go lengthy here, 21 to 36. I'm sorry, 21 to verse 30. Who left off? I was the last one. Okay, so, so, so 20, yeah, let's 21. go to verse 21. Okay. Then said Jesus again unto them, I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and shall die in your sins. Whither I go, ye cannot come. Then said the Jews, Will he kill himself? Because he saith, because he, like, saith, said, right? Mm-hmm. Because he said, Whether I go, or whither I go, ye cannot come. And he said to them, You are from beneath, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. Therefore I said to you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. Mm -hmm. Then they said to him, Who are you? And Jesus said to them, Just what have I been saying to you from the beginning? Okay. Um, I have many things to say and to judge of you. But ye that sent... I'm sorry. But he that sent me is true, and I speak to the world those things which I have heard of him. They understood not that he spake to them of the Father. And then Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself, but as my Father taught me, I speak these things. And he who sent me is with me. The Father has not left me alone, for I always... Do those things that please him. As he spoke these words, many believed in him. All right. Interesting section. And it's just, Mm -hmm. just, this one goes really, really deep. Um, Do you think, I mean, obviously he says it, but how do you think he felt as a, coming down as a human being, explaining this to everybody? Like, for example, like, how did his human side feel? Because... He was tempted in all things, right? Mm-hmm. But he sinned. He did not sin, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. He did not sin. But how do you think he felt like when he was in this world? Gavin, what do you think? Uh, probably like how he said, like, I am not from this world. Like, mm-hmm. maybe he felt like, I, I don't, I can't see him thinking like he's a, above it necessarily in a way like, I'm better than all of you, but like, right. maybe he just felt like kind of almost like out of place. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, he was like, I'm sure he was like, felt very like hopeful. Like he wanted, you know, the loving character. Jesus wanted to like save everybody, but he also, mm-hmm. I'm sure he also felt like very disappointed in like man, you know, mm-hmm. and like just wanted them to be more like, you know, in God's image or whatever. You yeah, know? you know, and just kind of imagine yourself. There was ever a time you felt out of place, right? I mean, mm-hmm. I know when I was coming to church for the first time, I felt very out of place. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like. You know, it was it was weird. People are looking at me. They're saying hi to me. Some were friendly. Some were not. You know, and and it just kind of like, you know, it's just awkward. You know, mm-hmm. and and you feel like I don't want to be here. You know, mm-hmm. but at the same time, you know, it, when we hear the call, I think when Jesus calls us, you know, there's that opportunity to answer. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's that opportunity to learn to grow you know to go through those struggles of awkwardness and and you know and hopes that you can 
have a community to that you can relate to. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's not easy. You know, because if we if we can't find it among our fellow brothers and sisters that believe, then we're gonna find it somewhere else where it's probably mm-hmm. not the best uh, influence. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. What do you think, guys? Yeah, like you're saying about finding it with the, with the best influence. Mm-hmm. Lots of times, many Christians that aren't raised up the best way per se, yeah. um, with more very very strict rules and they can't do much of things. Right. They'll try seeking out friendships outside the faith, and lots of times that seeks that leads to like a wrong path. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, P- people feel limited that way. Mm-hmm. Kayla, what do you think? Um, it definitely speaks to me because. Jesus knows who his father is and he says, you know, I know who I am and I know the father but if, if he's 100% obviously human mm-hmm. and how does he know the father? It, it's mm-hmm. the scriptures. He yeah. studied the script. That's how he knows the father. He prayed. He spent time with him. He And I, I don't know if I can truly say I know the father because mm-hmm. I definitely don't spend enough time or mm-hmm. read the scriptures and sit down and I kind of like I need to do a little bit better. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and just, you know, it just sets the example, too, of what you should know about the Father, you know what I mean, with everything that he says and does. And Mm -hmm. sometimes I think of it as a very, like, weirdly spiritual thing. Like, I know Mm -hmm. the Father. It's like, oh, yeah, he was human, but he was also God. And so there was a weird extra spiritual thing, like, Mm -hmm. that none of us could have done or anything, but that's not true. You know, we definitely could have had the same relationship. And so sometimes I kind of put him out of the box and I go oh that doesn't apply to me but mm-hmm. it does yeah absolutely Val anything um just like the way Jesus would feel like personally if like I was in that situation I wouldn't have known like how to find the words to explain where I would be from and just the way I would pre- present myself you know mm-hmm. I don't I don't know how he did that and I'm sure he felt very very out of place but you know I, I bet it was hard you know because everyone was sinners and like he didn't really sin so it was hard to find I don't know friends a place mm-hmm. yeah absolutely yeah you know what I mean he only had what 12 uh, apostles right Mm-hmm. You know, there were some disciples, not, not, not everybody followed, you know. And, and also the pressure of everyone looking at you. You fail. Everybody is getting, like, doomed pretty much. Oh, I know. That's a, a lot of pressure. pressure yeah. It is, absolutely. The, the whole universe is depending on you. Even the, if there's other beings and other universes out there, the angels, are, they're all depending on him. Everybody. The world is know. literally on your shoulders mm-hmm. and you're going to yeah, down. Yeah, and, and he took that. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Otherwise, we'd all die in our sins, right? Mm-hmm. If there was no resurrection, if he did not make that sacrifice, mm-hmm. our, our lives would be meaningless. There, we, we can do whatever, yeah, mm-hmm. really, and just do whatever, and it wouldn't matter, right? Yep, yep. doesn't matter what sins we commit, anything like that. Yeah, absolutely, mm-hmm. you know. And, but at the end, I do like the little hope right here. As he spoke these it's words, many did it. believe him. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? There was, you know, he did have some people, mm-hmm. you know, and I think those are the people I think every day you fight for, those that you care about, you love, family, friends, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And, and you know, and even those that don't, that you don't know and that maybe you cross paths with at work or school, wherever you guys mm-hmm. go, you know, and just kind of imagining it like, all right, who does Jesus want me to? talk to today who does he want Mm -hmm. me to minister to you know or talk to Mm -hmm. who does he want me to help who can i be of service to or be that steward you know for other people absolutely all right let's go ahead and continue uh verse 31 we'll go to 31 to 36 who read last losing track i think i did again okay back to you guys i'm like uh, (laughs) there you go verse 31 then say jesus to those jews which believed on him if ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And they answered him, We are Abraham's descendants, and have never been in bondage to anyone. How can you say you will be made free? Jesus answered them, Most assuredly, assuredly, uh-huh. I say to you, whoever commits sin in a slave of sin, who commits sin is a slave of sin. Oh, is a slave of sin. My bad. 
And a slave does not abide in the house forever, but a son abides forever. If the son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Amen. I speak that which I have seen with my father. Oh, uh, wait, it was at 36? My bad. No, yeah, I, I wait, let's stop, let's stop right there. We'll stop okay, at 36 okay. real quick. Good save. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all good. So if you abide in my word, you are my disciples. I, mm -hmm. I just think these verses are pretty self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you believe in me and follow me, you are my disciples. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you know, you belong to the other guy probably. Kayla, what do you think? Can someone explain to me 33? Because at this point, mm -hmm. um, when it says we are Abraham's descendants that have never been in bondage to anyone, now, I'm not sure how the context or what mm -hmm. you're saying, but I'm, in, in my head I'm thinking, what do you mean you've been in bondage? The Romans are over you. You've been enslaved how many times? And, mm -hmm. and I'm like, what do you mean you've never been in bondage? How many times yeah. have you been, has God just set you free from captors? I'm not sure if that's the context. Am, am I getting it wrong? Yeah, you no, know, yeah, that's what I different? think. I feel like maybe it's just like them right. personally. Like, those personal men were like, oh, we've never been, like, slaves, you know? How mm -hmm. would you make us free? What do you mean, like, in that like, time? Yeah, mm -hmm. like, those their, specific... Their lifetime, not, yeah, like, they, okay. they don't have, like, they have no scope of, like... Gotcha, no, exterior. that makes sense. No, but I, I was thinking, I, I go to exit yeah. the future thinking. No, yeah, because I was like, man, the Romans got you, Babylonians yeah. had you, yeah. the Persians had you. No, so yeah. So you're right, maybe it is just, like, we specifically in this time yes. have not. At that Even moment. though the Romans are over them, yep. they, right. don't feel, they don't feel yeah. like... Slave slaves, I think it's more, I don't think it's as serious. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem. Absolutely. And for those of you watching, if you can answer that question yeah. for us, we'd be very grateful. Like I said, this is a study with you all for you all. Mm -hmm. And again, if you have any context to it to add, please do so. Because, you know, we're always hungry for truth and hungry to learn here as well. Hungry. Hungry? Yep. I know I'm hungry too. I was eating. I probably have Dorito breath as I'm talking. I just <laughs> munching on some. Me too. Here. Sorry. Anyway. Uh, anything else to add in this? I was gonna actually go ahead. So, uh, I thought that this was really cool. I feel like the more I read, like the more like like scripture I take in, the more I'm like, there's no way, like, like Jesus wasn't real. There's no way, cause like the way that he like thinks and stuff like that and like communicates it is like, like really, it's genius. Like, cause it says that, like, I don't want you like guys to be like like slaves to me, like a, like abiding by me, like the you know. Mm -hmm. The servant abideth in the house not like forever, but the son abideth forever. Like he wants like we're his children. Like I feel like that like mm. like thirty five um and thirty six like together are like just just genius. Like <laughs> dude, I don't know, John eight really shows how Yeah, it's it's is uh, he's like a wordsmith, if you will. Literally, right? yes, mm -hmm. a wordsmith. Like the son, the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth forever. Absolutely. Caleb. What do you think? How, how many people think that Christianity itself is like slavery and bondage? Like mm -hmm. you, you're, you're serving this one God, and He has all mm -hmm. these rules and stuff. That's no, you're you're, right. you're crazy, right. you're insane. And it's funny how that actually makes you free. Mm -hmm. That's spiritually discerned. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think sometimes when we think of someone like an, an authority figure, a superior, you automatically think there's rules. You automatically mm -hmm. think, okay, I got to do this, I got to do mm -hmm. that. Uh, if not what's gonna happen right you know you get you get kind of like caught up in your own web of thinking and then it mm -hmm. starts to go into different tangents and then especially in Christianity where oh well no I'm not good enough now I'm messing up all the time you know mm -hmm. um, but again we just read you know I do not accuse you and neither where are your accusers right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know it, it, it God makes it the way he said he says it's so genius right ingenious terms but yet he does it in such a way that it's like I'm an open door policy just come to me yeah I have the answers I have the truth and I will set you free you know what I mean it's like I'm not gonna like rah, rah, rah. you, you know? gotta imagine he has the power to though like that's that's it confused yeah. me like you have to he imagine could that he could easily just be like all of you like come to me and like follow every word that I say and everything like that but instead he chooses to like love us and like mm -hmm. give us a choice. Exactly. Give us the choice. Choice, like. exactly. And mm -hmm. that's what I love. Oh, Brian's watching. Wasn't Brian in here somewhere? Yeah, he was. <laughs> oh, hey, Brian. He left. Oh, he left? Mm -hmm. Oh. He left. He's still here. Hey, in, Brian. We're the, oh, in spirit welcome. and in. Next time you sit with us, really Brian. <laughs> he never really left. Brian, we want you here next week. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and continue. We'll go from verses 37 to 38 because you have King James Version, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, yeah. 37 to 38. Oh, he is here. 
I can't see it. Well, it's good. You can't see through our windows because it's kind of dark. I don't know. Is he there? Oh, okay. (laughs) All right, here we go. Verse 37. All right, who's next? Was it it me? Uh, No, it was me. Okay, go for it. Verse 37. I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me because my word hath no place in you. I speak what I have seen with my father, and you do not. I'm sorry. And you do what you have seen with your father. They answered and said to him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. But now you seek to kill me, a man who has told you the truth, which I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. 41. Sorry, 41. No, you're good. Um, you do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, will be not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, ye would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do not why do you not understand my speech? Because you are not able to listen to my word. Mm-hmm. You are of your father the devil, and the desires of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and does not stand in the truth. Because there is no truth in him, when he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources. For he for he is a liar and the father of it. But because I tell the truth, you do not believe me. Which of you um, sorry, mm-hmm. convicted yeah, you me did. of sin? And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? He that is of God heareth God's words, yet therefore hear them. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. Okay, ooh, this is a really harsh... I mean, straight hard, up, you like, are the father of the devil. Yes, like, just are, like that. You are from the devil. You are not of God, or else you would be hearing me. Exactly, right? you know. Mm-hmm. And and golly, I'm just thinking. You know, these people are listening. They're trying to understand, but there's. It seems like they're still caught up in the way they do things, and they want to justify the way they look. Kind of what you mentioned earlier. Mm-hmm. You know, justifying your own sins, your own convictions, just to, you know, I don't know, appease yourself, if you will. Mm-hmm. But what do you think, Isaac? I mean, th- these are some yes. pretty good distinction between, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, what what Abraham truly meant when he during his time versus not. You know. Yeah, it's you know, like we haven't said it's pretty straightforward. Mm-hmm. Like, like one thing is like we got a new puppy. Yeah. You, you can give it all the love you want, but there's times you you gotta be firm because yeah. it's, it's not gonna. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. It's not going to get <laughs> the the message out sometimes. So. Need some brimstone and fire every yeah. once in a while. <laughs> yep. But it wasn't out of anger. It was more out of love. He's trying to tell them per se that, that hey, this this is what you have to do in order to accomplish being my disciple. And if you don't do it, you don't know me. Like he yeah. says, um, it's just. It, I'm, I'm sure it's kind of hard for him to say, but mm-hmm. he wasn't lying to them. He wasn't doing it out of anger or trying to hurt them. It was he was doing it out of love. But sometimes out of love, you have to do, you have to be straightforward. Yeah. Because if you don't, there's sometimes there's just not much of another way to go about it. Yeah, and the truth yeah. hurts, you know. But mm-hmm. sometimes you, that's it. Makes it, it, has, it has mm-hmm. to have its day. It has yeah. to have its time. Otherwise. Father of the devil. What were we going to say, Kevin? Go I was going to say, okay, so uh, when we've been talking about John when Pastor Eliab was here, I'm yeah. uh, pretty sure Josh remembers, but we always talked about, like, the conflict that must have been happening between Jesus' human side mm-hmm. and his, like, godly side, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so he always talked about how, like, even though he knows he will die, like, for our sins, like, he, like, from day one, he's still battling because he doesn't, like, want us to, like, make that like choice you know and so like i feel like right here is a great example of him being like like you are not of god like i'm of god like listen to me you know Mm -hmm. like like it's i know like you guys cannot because you're of the devil like but like like i don't know i feel like he really like wants them to like i'm sure he knows that they inevitably will not but like it's still like i feel like it's still in his human side to like Like, not listen to me yeah like not go out that way you know like I don't know. I feel like that, like, that, I'm that throwing com- you lifelines. Yeah, it's I'm like, just, you. just listen. Like, come on. Yeah, it's like, I'm, I'm giving you... Process them. You know, 
it's like it's like <laughs> Like I throw in lifelines at my students, it's like I give them the test or whatever, and then they still have questions. But, Mister, how do you do this? I was like, Were you not listening to me for the last <laughs> month and a half of school? Talk, I'm like, Oh my god, the answer is nearly mm -hmm. no, but you still keep like, I mean, there's part of me like, mm -hmm. Come on, come on, like, there's gotta be something. Kayla, what yeah. do you think? For 44, that was pretty um, straightforward. Um, where is it? You are of your father. You are your father, the devil, and the mm -hmm. desires of your father. You want to do, so they he's calling them out. Like mm. they they want to claim that they're so righteous, but they yeah. deep inside they really want to follow their own yeah. their own mm -hmm. ideas and their own their own life and everything. Mm -hmm. And um, it is convicting. Because he's convicting them, and I think he's speaking to just about everybody. Yeah. I think everybody struggles with that, of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Val, what do you think? I think they said it all. <laughs> wow, I mean, Valerie. I was, it's because, like, <laughs> after, like, like, after Isaac went, I was like, oh, yeah, he wants to be heard. But then Gavin covered it, so I'm just like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> We got it. We're All right. good. All right, cool. Continue on. We will continue on, and uh, we're going to go ahead and close this chapter up. So we're going to read uh, the last verses, uh, verses 48 through 59. Yes. And I think it was my turn. All right. Mm -hmm. sure All right, verse 48. Then the Jews answered and said to him, Do we not say rightly that you are a Samaritan and have a demon? Jesus answered, I do not have a demon, but I honor my father, and you dishonor me. And I do not seek my own glory. There is one who seeks and judges. Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keep my saying, he shall never see death. Then said the Jews unto him, Now we know that thou hast a devil. Uh, Abraham is dead, and the prophets, and thou sayest, if a man keep my saying, he shall never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham, who is dead, and the prophets are dead? Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my father who honors me, of whom you say that he is your God. Yet you have not known him, but I know him. And if I say I do not know him, I shall be a liar like you. But I do know him and keep his word. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, mm. and he saw it and was glad. Then said the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast seen Abraham? Jesus said to him, Most assuredly I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. Then they took up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them and so pass by. Oh. I hate that I always get stuck reading the the lines of like the Pharisees. Like I'm like I see and then the Jews said on him, I was like, Oh Doesn't my god. Doesn't mean gosh. anything. <laughs> yeah, of course I gotta oh, read no, I this guess that again. <laughs> Let me say something. You go ahead though. Okay. So verse fifty. And I do not seek my own glory. There is one who seeks and judges. And then there is over here it's mm. fifty five. Yet you have not known him, but I know him. And if I say I do not know him, I shall be a liar like you but I do know him and keep his word. So those verses, it it reminds me a lot of people, like how they are today. You know, they seek their own glory. Mm -hmm. They, um, you know, they judge you and they're doing it for themselves. Yeah. And it reminds me a lot of the middle school girls. I'm going to tell you that. Unfortunately. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Um, and I have them all. Yeah, <laughs> me too. And it's, just the way, you know, he has a, a really great way with words and he points it out and he makes sure that it, it's said and that they hear them. So, you know, that the words will sink in and maybe they'll right. give a second thought about it. But it's just like those words, like those verses, I was just like, yes. Amen. Kayla, any thoughts on, on this section? Yeah, I think... Um what he said in 52, if anyone keeps my word, he shall never taste death. I think it, it, that's a definitely very spiritual. He's not talking about literally, like, oh, yeah. you will never die. Mm -hmm. and, and they definitely took it very literal. And, and um, But he was right. That is a hard one sometimes because um, 
obviously yeah. that's what everyone fears is, mm -hmm. is, death, is death. Of course, right. But the death that we know if we die in Christ, that's not the real. You're not true. You know what I mean? You're not yeah. dead, dead. It's but like starting your second life or whatever. Yeah, like, like no. you're asleep. You're asleep. You're not dead. Yeah. You're asleep. You're, you, your physical no. body. Yes. But not even. You're asleep, you know, and um, I, I just, I love the, I love 58. Before mm -hmm. Abraham was, I am. Yeah, yeah, that's and that, powerful. You know, very good. Mm -hmm. And then even in the when when God was speaking into Moses, too. I think if I'm not mistaken, he was like, "I am who I am." You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just it's just so powerful. And then what I'm noticing here, though, it just seems like things are starting to get a little feisty now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean? They noticed tension. Yeah. They picked up yeah. stones. They were gonna throw some stones at him. He had to hide himself. Even in the last chapter, I think, yeah. isn't it like at the end he had to run or something? Yeah, or a couple it, times he's right had to kind of. Like, they got, they kinda. got a little. He hid himself and went out of violent the there. Yeah, yeah, you know, and it's into the and into the midst of them. Yeah. Yeah. It's like there's so just so. Not his time yet. His hour has not come yet. The hour's not come, you know, and, and the. It's the like, wait, I don't die yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, yet. this yeah. isn't. If I die now, forget it. This this isn't going to work, you know. Mm -hmm. um, we'll die in our sins, but, you know, it's I'll just. Die. I just find it so, like, man, like, the, the tension is growing, and but the stubbornness of, of people, you know, even mm -hmm. us today, you know, how many times have we been stubborn yeah. ourselves to, to follow, obey in His Word, and others around us you know how it's it's tough you know mm -hmm. but there he is you know and explaining to them over i am i i you know and not only speaking to them in the present but in the future and then still going back to the past it's like i i what is the verse um jesus is saying yesterday today and tomorrow you know what i mean which one's that from i have no idea i thought you know never mind <laughs> gus Gus, where's God? where's your dad? Unbelievable. Oh, no. He he you was right it. there, and we were talking about it, and like, poof, he's not here anymore. Look, Gus, well, there he is, right there. Where? Oh, there we go. How do you see them? Wow. I, I, can't, I can't see, see them. them. Unbelievable. I can see the oh, okay, <laughs> never mind. Jeez, but he would know. He would know the verse, everybody, and and he and he would point it out for us. But you know, again, it's just um, you know he was there. You know he he. There in the beginning, trying to guide us, he's here now, and he will be there. Even if after we die, he will be there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Isaac, any last thoughts in this section? Uh, one thing also I find uh, interested in is, I say, you say you know Abraham, you're not even 50 years old yet. They're saying that also, but they're also kind of like, you're a young guy, what do you know? Yeah, he was. You're, you're challenging us everything. scribes and Pharisees. We've been studying under Pharisees for generations. Like, my scribe, wine goes back to this many mm -hmm. years and you don't even have a scribe as your teacher and right. you, dare, you dare challenge our knowledge mm -hmm. and then they're like they're getting like feisty they're uh, more like attacking him but it's interesting how Jesus stayed like calm yeah. the whole time like he had to say what he had to say right in order because when you like I don't know what you whenever you get frustrated you, nothing gets to you, mm -hmm. you like, it just keeps going off but you have to say certain things in order for it to actually sink in and they just kept trying to fight it, fight, fight. But he's just kind of like, well, you say this, but what, what about this? He kept reversing it, putting it into perspective that they can understand. Then eventually they, got, they wouldn't listen anymore. So he, 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 had, him. he had to leave, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, and you notice they start to get a little personal with him mm -hmm. or about his age. And, you know, yeah. and, and you ever notice you see people arguing or if you've argued with someone or debated mm -hmm. someone, once they start making it personal, mm -hmm. it's like, okay, yeah, you, you know, you, over, you, yeah. you like know, it's over, there. you know, they, they, you know, you've gotten under their skin some way, mm -hmm. somehow with and something he, and you still respond calmly, yeah. maybe and affectionately, hopefully, hard, you know, it's tough, it's tough. Yeah. It's you really know, hard, and, but, but you know, once they do that, you're like, all right, come on now. Mm -hmm. Then he realizes now we're deflecting. Yeah. Now we're now nothing is sinking through. Don't get too insecure. And now I, I got to withdraw yeah. myself before, gotta, it gotta gets, leave, yeah. before it gets too bad. Mm -hmm. They're about to stone them yeah, exactly. before I personally can to make a mistake, which, which is not worth it. Exactly. Gavin, any last thoughts in this section? I got nothing. All right. Anybody else? Well, that is it. We have finished John chapter eight. So, the clever Jesus, the clever Jesus, mm -hmm. the wordsmith, the compassionate, the merciful one. Mm -hmm. You know, not there, not the, not with the intent to accuse, but to save. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And praise God for that. Again, so again, we'll uh, we got spring break, right? Y'all got spring break? You got spring break? spring break? You already had yours? Whatever. That worked. So <laughs> we'll see what happens next Wednesday and the Wednesday after if, if we'll uh, if we'll be on. But we'll try to be on because then we've got people out of town, possibly stuff going on. But we'll we'll try to be on air next Wednesday for John chapter nine. Uh, and again, join us uh, if you're watching now. Again, join us uh, this coming Saturday. We'll have services at 11 o'clock, worship service, uh, divine worship, and we'll have a uh, Sabbath school classes 9:45. Right? Did I get it? I'm the elder, and I don't even yeah. know the time. Yeah, no, you're right. No, you're right. Gus, I'm just kidding. Maybe All right. 9:45. And it ends at around 10:45. Like like 10:45 like roughly. 10. So please join us. It's kind of like Refract and Revive, but for like little kids, teenagers, Mm -hmm. old people all over there. I won't say that, but uh, (laughs) the old. You're old too. Hey, Hey. I'm only 42. Hey, I'm not even 50 yet, all right? You better chill. (laughs) You didn't even know Abraham. 42 years young. You will be though. Someday. Make, make, Josh, make, <laughs> make Josh pray so. I know, right? Get his fill. Well, Valerie, Josh ain't even you, worked. Let's do this. Valerie? I prayed. This no, is no. Like wait, listen time to me. Last time. Since you prayed, you get to choose someone here at the table that closes out on prayer. How's that? <laughs> okay, I I'm the new guy, huh? Isaac, <laughs> yeah, the new guy <laughs> always has to. Me too, okay. <laughs> all right, close us out on prayer, brother. Care. It's all good. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for helping us all to be able to come together here and study um, John chapter 8. Um, thank you for helping those who are able to watch it live, to be able to watch it live. And please help many more brother to watch us and mm. understand God's character more. And help us to be able to continue doing this study, to continue reaching people for you. In your heavenly name we pray. Amen. 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 Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.